Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how you can get all the dock tags on the easy difficulty for Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Substance and HD. With these dock tags of course you can unlock special items such as the bandana for infinity or the wigs and of course also the stealth items for the tanker and the plant episode. Here we go! At the beginning of the tanker chapter, just like with very easy, we want to turn left and punch three times to delay ourselves a little bit. With that delay, the guard on top will actually be fitting for our route, and then we can continue left. Just follow and hold up the first guard, Freeze. look at his eyes, and then you can just body shot him, you don't need to headshot him, there's enough time. But if you want to be absolutely sure, you can shoot him in the head. Follow then upstairs, and get to the next guard. If we wouldn't have had done this punch sequence, the guard would be here now, but because we delayed ourselves a little bit, he's now just at this corner, which is good for us because we can actually hold him up way faster. Moving on, the third and final guy here on aft deck, we can just go and drop down at the door on the right. And then hold up the guy, walk through him if you need to, and then get his dog tag. After that, move inside. The next stock deck that we're getting is here in deck D, cruise quarter. Make sure you're not in an alert. Do a roll here, pass the lasers, and get set up. Then hold up a guard from behind and get a stock tag. From here on, move on to Olga. After you've beaten Olga, you simply can just pick her up, unequip your weapon, grab her and let go of her and she will drop a dog tag. From here on out, move over to the right side. There's another guard coming out of the door that we need to hold up and get his dog tag from. Once you hold it up, you can go to the side, unequip and then open the door. And while the door is opening, you can just grab the dog tag. Remember to get your SOCOM ammo here because we're not going to get it later. Once we're back down then in the deck D crew's quarters, we can just shoot the guard that's up here, we already have his dog tag, and shoot the sensor. From here, move on into the pantry, so the pantry guard walks up, and meet him at the stairs. Compared to very easy, on easy difficulty, this guard is not a tough guy, so you can just hold it up and walk down. The next guard is one we already bypassed, but this time we have to soak him here. Unlike in very easy, we cannot make the timing here to have him see us, so we have to wait for him to turn around and then we can go. Freeze. Holding up, shoot over his head, and then you can walk behind him, and you do have enough time to get through the door before he starts calling in the world. Switch to the M9 before you leave. In deck I cruise lounge, similar to very easy, we once again want to hold up this guy here by walking left of him. And as it's shaking, we want to switch to the SOCOM and shoot the wall, so the bottom guard already gets up. Shoot the first guard in the body, he will be tranquilized as soon as he starts throwing his arms. And then hold up the second guy. Once you get his dog tag, you don't even need to shoot him, you can just move directly to the door and then get out. Decade Cruise Quarters port used to be a tough guy and very easy, now an easy is just a regular guy. So you can either use your SOCOM or your M9 to hold up the guard from behind and then get his dog tag. After that, move on over to the right and come back again to the cruise lounge. Back in cruise lounge, it's gonna be a bit awkward. This guard that's here will usually wake up another guy because you tranked him, and you need to shoot him with the SOCOM. So you can just switch your weapons quickly to keep both held up, and then you can just tranquilize both of them, as you can ensure that the bottom one drops the stock tag. For anyone out, do a roll down the stairs, equip the camera once and unequip it here, and then we're going to the engine room. The engine room has a few key things that you need to remember. One of them, for example, is here the second guard. If you get him late, the bottom guard won't hear you. That can be because the first one, for example, you took a little bit too long. Just a reminder, you need to just drop down here and get him. This can be a little bit awkward, 
Which why it is recommended that you want to actually be fast with the very first guy. As you can see, it's a little bit awkward having the pillar in between and you cannot see much. So let's go back to the beginning of the engine room and show you how it can be ideally done. You do a roll and quickly turn around here and hold them out as fast as possible. After you drop this dark tag, just shoot him in the body and move on south. You want to go down the stairs and quickly follow up with the second card. If you hold him up and bunt into him way earlier, the bottom guard actually heals you. We want that to happen because we don't want to drop down. Take the second guard in the head and then shoot the third guard basically in his exclamation mark. This will stun him. Punch him once, then holding up, and then get his dark tag. After that, shoot in the body, and you can just roll down here as his knees will pass his dark line. Make your way over to the middle guard. Here's an important thing I found out lately. You want to make sure that this guard is going past the center line. You want him on the left. If you don't wait and you hold him up when he's just between the two rails here, it's very hard to get in front of him so you can hold him up. You ever have to punch him over, which backs the risk of knocking him out. Or you could just literally wait and just avoid all of that here. So when you come up to him, just let him walk to his left then. A little bit easier to put yourself in front of the guard, holding him up. Once again, just shooting in the body. You don't even need to headshot him and get a stock hack. Following up the fifth guy, the first one, that's new since very easy. And we just literally want to walk behind him and hold him up. This one, make sure to shoot this one in the head. This is key. You want him to be not lingering around when you get into the cutscene. Switch to the SOCOM and then make a roll past the cutscene trigger. There's enough time before the guard comes out that you can quickly shoot out these two sensors. Now walk back down again and get this guard's dog tag. Repair of the entrance way to the engine freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. Once you got the dog tag, you can make your way past the door and then move on. In the very easy video, I showed you this method to get this guard's attention. Simply shoot with right fins so he has to turn around from the noise. Sneak up on him, and then you can get a star attack. I would, however, recommend that you do the second method, where you use your SOCOM. You have to shoot him twice as you pass here the side way, and then hold him up before he starts actually going all the way and getting the UD alert. This is a little bit risky, but this can save you time. Because then, as you can see here, you can walk up and trigger the music guard already. You don't need to wait for him instead. And as usual, once you hold him up here, get the USB ammo, and shoot him in the body, get the dog tag of Gakt here, and then move on to the third guard. No matter which version you do, of course, the first guard, that's the most important one. The other two are relatively easy to deal with. And I see you now in the holds. Holds are the most strangest thing ever on easy difficulty. You have to drink the entire first row of guards here. And then additionally, you have to shoot the first and second guard in the second row from the right, plus the extra guard on the right, as you can see here. The goal is to have the guard in his panties being able to hear you at the corner. So make your way downstairs, however you wish. Move past the projector guard, of course. And you want to make yourself being hurt. At the corner, you have to move past this line that I'm walking right now, where several guards will see you, and then you can just knock here at the wall. The Pendy's guard will come up to you, and you need to knock again at this corner here, so he actually moves all the way to the right. Make sure to step a little bit down here, whilst the guard can see you from around the corner. Hold him up, get a stock tag. Once you have the dark tag, you can just switch to Solcom and shoot it once to take a fast continue here. From that on, it's the second guard that we already had in very easy. For the second guard here, we want to do a few tricks. You can ever just go down the ladder and then climb over the wall hanging, or you use a ladder glitch to your advantage. The first one, you just need to hold a D-pad, app, and press triangle. And then for the second one, you just do the glitch normally. Not anything else needs to be done. You can turn around by looking in first person and turning yourself a little bit to the side. And I found it's definitely easier when this guard walks all the way to the end, so wait a little bit. Hold him up in the st we're jumping, shoot to the right so you get out of your weapon, turn around in first person and hold up this guard. You need to trank him or else he will load out in your only. Once you got the dog tag, turn around, make sure to get the ration in case you have been damaged in guard rush. 
And just as a quick explanation, in Holds 2, in case you've taken damage in Guard Rush, you need to make sure that you are absolutely at full health, or else your grip strength will not last for long enough. Because the lower your health is, the lower your grip strength is, and you will actually run out of your stamina for this grip here before you reach the end. Once you're at the end, move on to Holds 3. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from... Holds 3, once again, we're going to use the aspect here playing in the 16x9 version. Take a left shot here, and we get also the feet of Ray. That is the Marine logo. If you're playing a 4x3 version, you can just go down the slide and then take the Marine logo from there. Of course, strength this card, as we already did very easy, and then follow down here. For easy difficulty, there's one extra new guard. The first two are the same, it's very easy. Simply hold them up here and get the dog tags. Now you gotta take the extra two pictures, so take one from the front and take one from the left. And now we get the next attention. Once again, you have to shoot out a few guards here. The first three in the first row from left. That's the three that you need to tranquilize. The fourth one is the guard whose dog tag we need to collect. For that, we walk here behind the stage, crouch, and then knock here. Turn around, stand up, and wait behind the pillar here or by the side. The guard will walk all the way over there. Make sure to not be seen, of course, so that's it's the game over. Freeze. And then hold him up, walk around, and get his dog tag. Freeze. <gasps> Once you got his dog tag, shoot them in the head, of course, to put him immediately to sleep. Down. And those are all the dog tags you need in the tanker mission. From here on out, just deliver your pictures, and you're good to go. See you in plot. In the plant on easy difficulty, the M9 is not under this shelf. You have to go here over the railing and move to the right. Make your way back up again and walk to the bottom right corner. This is how you can get an early M9 in the easy difficulty. Normally it would also be on top of strut A roof, but we need the M9 right here before we even leave with the elevator, or else we cannot get the guard's dog tags. Once you've touched the node and the guards start waking up, Simply go over to the side and start holding them up. You even have enough time to go over here and pick a ration, just for safety. So I highly encourage you to do that. As soon as they wake up, you can simply hold up the left guard first, and also already aim at his head so he starts shaking off his dog tag. And in the time that right guard also starts waking up. Simply turn around in first person, or go into third person and walk behind him. Don't kill me and then shoot both of them to take them out. There's plenty of time before the elevator comes down, so you're in no rush here. And once you got the dog tags, take the elevator upstairs. When you're on strut A here, you can get this dog tag early. That's not a requirement, but an option, so up to you and your desires. I would recommend to get this dog tag actually later, in the bomb defusal. The next dog tags you have to absolutely get are here on the AB bridge. The bottom right one is a little bit tricky. You gotta take a half step forward and then freeze him. After he's frozen, you can continue moving onwards. And after that, you're gonna make your timing over here. Make sure to not make a noise. The first few steps are fine. The second set of, like, dark patch, they definitely will be heard from the guard. So just do a cartwheel over them and then hold the guard up. Get the dog tag and then move over to me, Pliskin. After you've met Stillman and you defuse the Strutzy bomb, you absolutely have to make sure to shoot out this cipher. You do not want to have an alert here. Ever grab the shafts now if you haven't gotten them already before going to Strut C. In Strut B, then defuse the bomb as usual. There's a tough guy and a regular guy. Compared to very easy, they basically swap places. So the inside one is now a regular guy. You can just hold him up. And then the hallway guard is a tough guy. What are you? The inside guard will not alert on you, even if you shoot the circle mouth side. So just make sure to take care of the hallway guard first, and then go to the inside one. You can ever shoot him in the head, or just leave. You would definitely be able to leave before the alert comes through. 
Once again, we're back to strut a pump room here, and counterclockwise, I think this is the way better Freeze. moment to grab this guard's dog tag. You can simply just shoot him, and then move on. Make sure now to use one of the chaffs that you used, because the camera does absolutely not need to alert on you. We do not want to deal with any caution, we want to play as clean as possible without any alert states. From here on, all, just follow as usual. On the FA connection bridge, you can either decide to get the dog tag now, or you can get it later after fortune when you move your way over to Fatman. You absolutely need to take care of the cipher, or you can use one of your chaps, whatever you want. I'm going to show you an example here how it looks like with the cipher timing. I think it's definitely easier if you take out this guard's dog tag after you have fought you fortune. This one is a tough guy, so you absolutely need to shoot here. And I recommend to switching over here then to the M9 before we move over to Stradev Warehouse. In the Stradev Warehouse, there are two tough guys on the higher levels and one regular guy at the bottom. I recommend to use any tough guys later when we have the Socom Suppressor. For now, simply just get rid of the first one here and ignore the second one. This gives you also the right timing for the bottom one to walk past you as you defuse the bomb here or freeze it. After that, simply drop down and hold him up. Freeze, and as I said, it's a regular guy, so you can just aim at his head, walk around him, shooting his body, and then get his dog tag. From here on out, we're moving on to Strutty. Just like very easy, in Strat E it's basically the same situation. We're gonna make our way over here, crawl underneath the conveyor belt, and use coolant rice to stand up quickly. Go to the scout, and you can either roll for him and knock him out, or just shoot him. Remember when he's a difficulty, alerts are sometimes an issue, but as soon as you go upstairs and move on to heliport, the alert will drop in either case, so it doesn't really matter too much what you do here. On the Strat E heliport, we basically do the same as we did on very easy. Only difference is that this time the Harrier Guard is not a tough guy. So you can use your M9 if you want to. After you've frozen the bomb, you can move over here to the left, hold up this guard. Freeze. Oh. If necessary, unequip and re-equip your gun. And then you can just tranquilize this guard. You can get these stunts if you want to. I've not found a use for it yet. Maybe for a tango once you might use them. And then we move on over here, grab the box of course, and go to, um, to the snoozing guard downstairs. Just like very easy, simply hold him up and then leave the area. After you teleport to strut C and make your way over to strut D, use a diversion. The inner cycle guard is actually a tough guy. I found it easier to simply just shoot his exclamation mark here, which is a little bit tight in timing. You can also just get his attention, have him walk forward, wait for him to turn around and then hold him up from behind. What you absolutely need to do is, is to tranquilize the guard downstairs so he doesn't alert on your gunshot. After that, defuse the bomb as usual. And then you can move on and wake up the second guard. The second guard can be a bit awkward, you might use your coolant spray for a little while until he wakes up. And then maybe even the backup guys are coming inside. So recommendation is to take a short break in between, and then after a short moment, you should be ready to wake up. From then on, simply hold out your gun and wait, and then the guard will be held up. Get a stock tag, and after you got a stock tag, you can leave on. God, I was so unlucky in this, I actually didn't find the... There we go, there's the Doctor. <laughs> Word of advice here at the DE bridge, you have to make sure to not get an alert going into Strat A. So, you either have to just bump into the scar to delay him a little bit, or you have to tranquilize him. Once you teleported from Strat E over here to Strat A, 
Same business as usual, you're gonna walk down here, hold up this guard, and you can use the time once again to get even more M9 ammo. It's not really fully required, but it definitely can't hurt that you use the time to get more ammunition. Then it's onwards to Fortune. After you made your way back again from Fortune, it's time to grab the chaff, and then we're gonna get down into Strat A Pump Room. Unlike on very easy, on easy difficulty, this guard is not a tough guy, so you can simply go to a coolant spray with previous, and then use the M9 to get rid of this guard. There you go. Here's the FA Connection Bridge Guard after you've met with Fortune. I personally think this is a little bit easier, because there's no Cypher here, so the timing works out a little bit easier for us. Only problem I had now in this example here is that me? the guard just wouldn't recognize that I actually shot over his head, because my angle was so low. So the recommendation is that you walk behind him and bump into him, so you slowly moving up the stairs, just in case the timing works out like that. We should see this here now. There you go. I'm bumping over a little bit, and now I can actually... What am I doing? There you go. Now that we're actually on the same level, if I shoot over his head, he can actually recognize that I'm threatening him. As usual, Stillman's dog tag can be found underneath Fat Man when you move into the side with the final bomb. So don't forget to pick this one up. Share one core is the most important one in the beginning of running easy or dark tax. For your preparation, you just need BDU and you can use also the SOCOM. Once you're inside the core room, of course answer the codec and then move further inside. Since you already acquired the AK on this difficulty in the warehouse, you just go immediately up to this guard and hold him. You can either tranquilize him or kill him. My recommendation would be to tranquilize him, so the third guard will be a little bit easier. Now I'll make your way over here. And the second of these lockers actually has this Socom Suppressor here. So quickly equip it, put on the BDU again, and get your AK equipped. Because the left side guard will be way higher now. Walk around him, then walk behind him, hold him up. And then you can easily kill him now, silenced, because you have the Suppressor. In my case here, I actually didn't have the right timing. Once again, go back to BDU and the AK. Now, since the first guard was silenced, the third guard will walk back again here. So simply just hold out and kill him. And you should really be quick in moving him to the side here. Because this initial guard that we just tranquilized could quickly come up and see you and cause an alert. But if you're fast enough, you can just leave without it. In B2 room, we're just going to make use of the suppressed SOCOM and the M9 that is already suppressed. Simply go down here and hold up this guard. We're going to come back to him later. It's definitely easy if you meet the early cycles here. So hold up this left guard and wait for the second guards here. Simply hold them up and threaten them. For once, this is a tough guy, but you can tranquilize both of them in the body to get that Octax and have them not alert on you. And then we basically work up by backwards. Second guard, we get his Octax as third place, tranquilize him, and then we move all the way back to the beginning, so we get the first guard Octax as position number four. So again, this is a tough guy, so just shoot over him. But thanks to the Socom Suppressor, that's not a problem. From here on out, you want to make your menus, so you have the AK equipped and nothing on previous, so you do not get caught later at the retina sensor. After you've met Ames, simply get your SOCOM and your M9 ready. We want to once again knock at this locker here and wait for the first guard to come around. We want to hold him up so he drops the staff cank. After that, we want to bounce a few times into him, so he actually does move, move forward, but also makes noise that the second guard will hear. From here on, you can just shoot him in the head, and this dead guard actually will have the second guard investigate and come closer, which is good for us, because then we don't have a risk here when we need to hold him up. Freeze, hold him up then, Please threaten don't. him, and shoot him in the head. And this gives us enough time, so the third guy, or the one at the elevator, just moves inside the little room. I'm just gonna stand here at the wall and aim at the center of the door. So once he sees us, hmm? we can shoot out his exclamation mark, punch him, and then Freeze. threaten him. 
As you can see, none of these are tough guys, but I'm still using the soap bomb just because it's a little bit easier. And we immediately want to kill these guards. After that, leave and go upstairs. As a backup, here's another way how you can get this first guard's dog tag. So we'll just be walking down here. You can just simply hold him up, bounce for him, and then threaten him. I think it's recommended that you also grab the SOCOM ammo here, but it's not a requirement. Now that we finally have your SOCOM suppressed here, we're gonna get now the last two dog tags in Stradef. What I use here is basically put on my BDU, so I'm only getting noticed, but not actually cause an alert. It's very important to have the BDU on. After that, walk around the corner and get this first guard's dog tag. Move over and get the PSG one. And then the bottom of these two guards is actually walking left, so you need to follow them after, holding up, are you going to and there you me? go. <laughs> Afterwards, kill him. And then you can move on to strut E. Now before we go to the Harrier, we have to do a little bit of backtracking and getting more dark tags. So on the DE bridge here, do one cartwheel down the stairs and walk the rest to meet this first guard. Huh? Unlike on very easy, on easy he's not a tough guy, so you can simply just hold your gun in his face. Still want to kill him just to be safe. Meet the second guard here Freeze. and hold him up. And if it's a little bit awkward not getting his dog tag, that's fine. That's one of the parts where RNG is a little bit of a factor. Back on the CD connection bridge, there's now two guards whose dog tags we need. Make your way around the camera without being seen and hold up the first guard. Ideally be fast before the second guard notices you. Simply take him out and then walk south. My recommendation is to stick to the left side of the railing. Once you got the second guard, stock tag, you take him out and you can move on to strut C. Now you could have gotten the Stratzi Dining Hall dog tag earlier, but I don't recommend to get any now. The timing usually works out better. So we walk up to this guard and get his dog tag. Don't kill me. Now I'm going to show you in this example here how I had issues finding this dog tag. So the backup, if you're not finding this dog tag early enough and the second guard will notice you, is simply just leave. It's that easy. You can come back another time and get his dog tag. If you've already gotten the dining hall dog tag here, there's the alternative method where you get the second guard's dog tag. Simply knock on the wall and call him close to you. We cannot use the very easy method here, as the guard will immediately call an alert on us. Once we got the dog tag, then we can leave south. And finally, on the BC connection bridge, just like very easy, we're going to take out the cipher first with a few shots, and then shoot next to the guard to have him turn around and investigate. Holding up simply, and once you're done with him, Go back again to strut C and move on to the area. Now in case you didn't get this second guard's dog tag on your way out, just like in the initial clip, you can simply also get it when you're moving back again to the area. Just wait for him to turn around the corner and then holding up. You don't even need to kill him, you can literally just walk through him, as there's enough time from you moving through the door before the alert actually counts. In preparation for the Shell 2 core guards and the dog tags, you can either have the SOCOM or the M9 in your previous. Once you make your way out of the elevator then in 1F, grab ammo and then move on. Unlike in Very Easy where the first guard is a tough guy and we have to use the SOCOM, here, actually on easy difficulty, all three of these guards are regular guys. So you can either use the M9 or the SOCOM for example for holding them up. Move all the way down here, and then wait at the corner for the guard to turn around. In case you cannot see him being in the corner, you can also just lean against the corner. Simply walk up to him, holding up, and then get his dog tag. And as usual also with the third guard, there's a long time before he actually fully notices you, so just step forward, holding up and get his dog tag.
Now here's the method that you could use in case you want to do Emma zip and how KL Bridges dog tag will be acquired. First of all, of course, we have to zip Emma here. And despite on easy difficulty, although it's actually carrying over, with this KL zip, alerts can actually be stopped before they actually be fully functional. So we simply just walk to the left door before it fully comes in. And then we just walk back out again at KL Bridge. Once we are on the KL Bridge, we have to get out our AK. And then in first person, aim a little bit to the top right before we actually use auto aim to shoot the cipher. After that, we're going to use my M9 here to do a cool car wheel over the stairs over this guard to holding up from behind. Take out this guard and then move on to the fire and take it out. If you want to prepare your menu before the next room, you want to be on your SOCOM. Alternatively, if you want to come back here and didn't zip ammo, you can just go here and bump her and drag her along just like normal. This is the version when you don't use Emma zips, but just bump her over the door. As usual, we walk all the way here and we want to get rid of both ciphers here. So we're going to get out the AK. Or with the sword, of course, we can shoot them both here. And now we're going to walk all the way to the end. The guard will be now at the top of the stairs. But thankfully, on very easy, he is not really looking that far ahead. So you can basically just leave Emma here, shoot at his feet to have him turn around, walk up to him and get his dog tag. And then you can continue as normal. I definitely recommend killing this guard though, so you don't have any problems with him and Emma. In the start as you would treatment facility, just like with very easy, we're gonna use our SOCOM here. And we will drag Emma a little bit forward. There's enough time. Once we are around the corner, hold up this first guard, stand in front of him and kill him. The second guard will notice us. And we'll also see then the dead body. We'll try and investigate that. And when he's actually sitting down, that's enough time for us. So we can actually hold up the second guard here. As you see here. Sometimes you need to unequip and re-equip the gun here. But in total, this should be a very easy guard. Who's not that we get. And then simply bounce it to Emma to have her stand up quickly again and then drag her on and start with the sniping sequence. After the sniping sequence, there's one more guard here. Unlike him very easy, he is actually not in the level 5 room at the conveyor bottom but he's listening to music upstairs. So what I like to do is I'm going to do my menu seer and quickly do a car wheel to get my SOCOM out and my coolant. But you can also do the same thing with the M9. I like on very easy, on easy difficulty, this guard is not a tough guy. Walk up to him, holding up and get his dog tag. Then move out and you want to be equipped with your AK after that. So from the SOCOM it's just down one. And for the very last dog tag, we have to get it from Solid Snake here. So once you've gotten your sword, swipe it once, unequip it with three times going down, bump into Snake and choke him for roughly six to eight times. You can also throw him over the shoulder if you want to knock him out. And on easy difficulty, Snake gives us the dog tag of Meryl. Congratulations, these are all the dog tags that you can get here for the easy difficulty. And I wish you all lots of luck and good fun, of course. And I'll see you on the leaderboards. Damn kid!